Hi there, this is Anton Duplessis, and in this little video, I'm going to show you intensity calibration in Dragonfly. This is useful for bone mineral density calibration of the grayscales in CT data, for example, but could be used for other purposes also. So um, what I've got here is some CT data of a lizard osteoderm and a lizard bone and a bone mineral density calibration phantom. I, before I start, I can show you this data is from a publication where the interest was in studying the osteoderm density, um, especially to learn about if these um, bony plates in lizards can act as calcium reservoirs. So if you're interested to read that paper or read more, learn more about it, you can check it out. Uh, it's in Journal of Anatomy. So um, what I want to show you here today is how to calibrate the intensity scales. Um, what I refer to is the gray values in the data go from 0 to 65,535 for 16-bit data, usually. So what we want to do is we want to change that and calibrate it to be, um, we know that this bone mineral density calibration phantom here, let me just show you what that looks like in 3D. So this is what the bony plates look like. This is the bone, and um, at the back, the cylinder is the reference calibration phantom. So we know that that calibration phantom has a value as a density of 1,200 milligrams per cubic centimeter. So we can change the, the gray values to correspond to that exactly. So that's what we refer to here. So one way to uh, find the value of the cylinder is to, of the gray values of that cylinder is to make a segmentation. And of course you can make different um, we have many segmentation tools. I, this demo is not going to go into that now. Um, I'm just going to make a very simple multi-slice painting using the local Otsu brush. So I will select all dense pixels within the range of the paintbrush over with a 3D spherical paintbrush just to get enough pixels without selecting any other um, value. So I've got a, a number of pixels in that region of interest. So we can actually see it. We've already got almost 10 million voxels. So um, to probe that those values, you can go to Instagram here and you can see, ah, okay. So they are spread around the 45,292. So let's say 45,000 is roughly the gray value. You can also segment the entire larger section or you can probe it in different ways. But for this demo, I'm just going to show you how to do that, not go into the details of different ways of doing the segmentation. So on the, if you click on the image channel and right click on it, you can find this function at the bottom, calibrate intensity scale. Now there are different calibration um, units that can be used. The bone mineral density is shipped with Dragonfly. There are, um, it's possible to create your own as well. I'm going to show the select bone mineral density. The default is to have air and um, HA100. We would actually have this one, 1200. So you have to double click there to select it. And the gray value, we can change that to 45,000 like that. You can also set up your um, a probe tool. Um, if you click that little probe to probe individual points, but this needs a preference setting. Let me show you how to do that. If you're interested to do that, you can go to configurable actions and type in calibration, calibrate intensity, calib intensity calibration. So these things need to be preset. So if you click on the probe, left click, you need to configure this, um, these um, preferences so that the um, the tool actually gives you values at that point. But as I said, there's different ways to select the value, but once you've selected a value there and a value for air, you can calibrate and close this. Now you, it seems like everything disappeared, but in fact, it's because we're still having looking up to 65,000, but we have mainly gray values around 1,000. So if we go to window leveling tool, we can click reset. And we see, ah, okay, now we go from minus 400 up to 1,900. And if you were to draw a ruler annotation across a piece of osteoderm and 
uh, calibration phantom and look at the profile intensity, you see that on average, this um, calibration phantom has a value 1,200, as we expect, and this um, the osteoderm has a value um, above 1,200, and then it drops over its width. So this is the full width of it. So that's basically how bone mineral density calibration works. And I'm sure you'll find this useful. Um, let us know how you make use of it. That's all for today and see you next time.